Now, 18 years later, the country remembers sacrifice in the attack on September 11, 2001. In a tribute to those who were killed, local state reps in the city of Warwick held a ceremony at Oakland Beach this morning to read the names of the victims. And still today, the United States continues to fight the war on terror in Afghanistan after the deaths of nearly 3,000 people. In Manhattan, many gathered at a ceremony marking when planes hit the two towers of the World Trade Center. This was this morning at the September 11th Memorial Plaza. They also read through the names of the victims. Several local victims of the attacks are now honored with their names etched into a plaque at the Rhode Island State House. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt was there as the plaque was being unveiled. Well, Patrick, it might be hard to believe, but this new plaque is actually the first to have all of the Rhode Island victims from 9-11's names on it. Today, family members were able to gather to see their loved ones' names etched permanently on this monument. These are our people. These are our sons and daughters who we lost. On the 18th year since the terrorist attacks of 9-11, a new memorial with the legacies of Rhode Islanders killed in the attack etched in stone. These signatures sends a statement, makes an acknowledgement of who we are, and these are our people. We're personalizing 9-11 publicly. Pat Nassani lost his son, Sean, when his flight from Boston was hijacked, ultimately crashing into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. In the aftermath, America promised to never forget. That is exactly what this monument hopes to help achieve. You know, as I think about, for instance, my own children, they weren't even alive when this happened. Teenagers today, high school students today, they, they have no memory of September 11th, which means it's our responsibility and duty to educate them so that they don't forget. In between the prayers and tears, there were hugs and even a few smiles. The families losing loved ones forming a family of their own. They have, in fact, spent the last 18 years together on this day, coming together every year with the same goal. We need to remember who we were on 9-11, who we are now, and who we should be in the future. The original memorial was created one year after 9-11 and didn't include everyone's names. The creator tells us that's partly due to the fact of how quickly it was all put together. It took the state actually passing a law to get everyone's names put on it. Live in the newsroom, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.